Hey YouTube, it's Predestined 4 coming at you again with another video. I just wanted to come on today to talk to y'all a little bit, okay? So, um, I don't think I'll be coming on tomorrow, so I figured I'll get the video out the way today, which is Saturday. This is the second day of January. January, disregard what? <laughs> This is the second day of June, okay? Because it still feels like, you know, it's still early. But the year is flying by so quickly and time is going. So, you know, let's make the most of the time, okay? So I want to come on today and talk a little bit about something again that's been on my mind which i'm gonna share with you guys and i hope this is encouraging or uplifting to somebody okay um my topic today is if you're thinking that something is wrong with you or um you feel like everything is going wrong and you know because i've I've been in that state of mind, and I know I feel like I'm repetitive with most of my videos, but I can only speak on what I've experienced. I've, I can only speak on my testimony, okay? And I know there's somebody out there, even though I may feel repetitive, or I feel like I'm saying the same thing, or my videos are centered around the same idea or the same message, but like I said, these are testimonies that I'm sharing with you that has helped me and I'm hoping that it helps somebody that a viewer or a subscriber or somebody that may come across my video, okay? So what I'm here to tell you is that even though you may going through those seasons where you feel like everything is going wrong and you feel like it's you and you feel like you don't know what else to do, um, you're feeling discouraged, you're feeling set back, um, I'm here to tell you that nothing is wrong with you, okay? Nothing is wrong with you. God is just protecting you, okay? So I've written down some things that I'm going to talk about. So if you see me looking down, looking at my tablet, and I'm, I'm always coming on and I'm just talking and saying stuff, but I actually jotted down something today. So <laughs> bear with me a little bit, okay? So what I have here is nothing is wrong with you. God is actually protecting you. So what I'm going to speak on is God is protecting you. Okay, so I have here, you attract who you are, not what you want. Allow yourself a time out so God can heal you. Okay? Now, let me address that. In whatever situation you're going through, around you, like I've said in all my videos, if you continue to see the negative side of everything, if you continue to be pessimistic, I'm speaking again to myself. I can allow myself sometimes to think myself, to think. It starts in the mind, like I've always said. You allow yourself to think yourself into um, depression, to think yourself into discouragement, to think about the past, but it's not, you're not attracting what you want. You're attracting who you are. So if you're a negative person, even though in your mind or in your, um, you know, your futuristic plans, you may want certain things for yourself. But if you're not exuding that and if that's not what you're speaking, it's not going to happen. So it starts in the mind and it starts with you believing and speaking, the tongue is always a ready writer. It is here to prophesy for you. It is here to speak for you what you want. You, like I said earlier, you don't attract what you want. You attract who you are. So if you're not being who you see yourself to be five years down the line, I'm going to put it this way. Um, I know somebody that used to always dress up. Um, to go wherever they're going, regardless of where they're going. They have a, a business attire on. They're dressed professionally and nicely, okay? Mind you, at the time, this person didn't have a job, okay? But the person would always make it their point of duty to look 
like what they want. Okay, I hope that's making sense. So in other words, you need to look like where you want to go. You need to look like what you want. If you're not visualizing it in your brain, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very avid believer in The Secret, okay? Have you all ever read the book The Secret? Yes. Yes, if you haven't read it and you're not a fan of reading, it's on Netflix, go check it out, okay? The Secret, it's called The Secret. Okay, it's all about manifesting what's already in your mind. And in order for you to manifest it, you have to believe it and you have to already walk in it. Prepare yourself by walking in it and prepare yourself for what you need in the future. Okay, so... That alone explains itself. If you want to understand what I'm trying to explain right now, go read The Secret, okay? So my other point is, my second point was, stop trying to recycle what God is trying to replace, okay? Let me tap into that one. Now, if God has removed people from your life, you lost your job, any situation in your life that you see as a loss. Like I've said in my other video I did Sunday. I'm going to link that on the bottom. Nothing is a total loss, okay? If you are a believer, you should know this. Nothing is a total loss. Everything that you claim or you think you have lost is being replaced. Y'all know what restoration is? God, is ha he has a way of restoring you and restoring the things that you've lost and giving you greater, okay? So the time you're focused on um, getting back or restoring what you've lost, God is going to replace it and also restore it with better, okay? But once again, you have to be ready for it, okay? By believing and trusting and activating your faith. Okay, I'm not going to be long, you know. I'm trying to make this quick here. Okay, okay, see, it says, this is the points that I jot, jot down. Practice releasing regret, okay? So if something happened to you in your past, and a lot of times things happen to us that we're hurt about, we're discouraged about, we're still in the healing process, we're still in the process, period, because we're still going through it mentally, emotionally, it's still attached to us in so many ways, even though it's long gone five, ten years ago, okay? Now, this is saying, what I'm saying here is practice releasing regret. When you hold on to regret, it holds you back from what you want to receive in your future. If you hold on to your past, how do you expect to get your promises, to get your blessings if you continue to live in the past? So take that step and move forward. The other point that I have is work on forgiving yourself. I think that was one of the hardest, hardest, hardest things for me to do. Because a lot of things that I went through, honestly, it wasn't anybody else's fault. I tried to blame other people. I tried to sit around and make excuses. But it was really me. And I had to really see myself for who I am. At the, at the end of the day... You have to be real with yourself and you have to be real with God, okay? That's where it all begins. If you walking around here, you feeling like you got it all together, nothing is wrong with you, you don't have issues, you see everyone else's problems but your own, you need to start looking within. Do a self-evaluation and see exactly, look at yourself five years ago and try to see at this point in time in your life, where have you grown? Where have you matured? Where have you accelerated? What, what have you done differently? Who are you now as opposed to who you were five years ago? Look at your growth. Look at your development, okay? And learn to forgive yourself for your past mistakes. Because if you don't forgive yourself for past mistakes, you're going to continue, continue, continue to live in the past. And it's going to hold you back on so many levels, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. You're going to be stuck physically, okay? Ooh, this is a good one. So the other point that I have is your pain is for a purpose. Your pain is for a purpose, guys, okay? Your pain is for a purpose. I don't know how else clearer to make this. 
Nothing that you're going through is an accident. Yes, we cause some of, some of our situations based on decisions that we make, okay? But even through the decisions that you make, it's all a part of your journey. It's all a part of your growth. It's part of your learning. And it's here to catapult you to the next level. Without pain, without struggle, without trials, you will not appreciate your life. You will not appreciate your journey. Okay? I've said this before that sometimes I miss the innocence of my childhood. I miss the innocence of just being free and not having any responsibilities and living life and not having anything to think about. But I also appreciate my 34 years of life because every single thing I've been through, even the things that I still sometimes cry about, I appreciate it because <laughs> the person that I am today is not the person I was 10 years ago. It's not the person I was last year. It's not the person I was five years ago, you know? So I appreciate the growth. When I look back at myself and see, even, okay, put it this way, even sitting here talking to you guys on YouTube, I would never be able to do this like five years ago because contrary to what people believe, I'm very shy. I'm very shy, like shy to the point where when I was in college, don't call me to read a paragraph, don't call me to say nothing. Even if I was in class in high school and college and I know the answer to a question, I would never raise my hand because I just do not like spotlight. I do not like to be called out. I do not like public speaking. I don't like none of that stuff. So it's quite funny right now that I'm on one of the biggest platforms social platforms, which is YouTube, and I'm over here doing videos and talking to whoever. Anybody could watch this video, anybody, okay? But I'm bold enough. Once again, I'm, t I'm expressing to you and I'm testifying to you that this is one of my growth levels. I wasn't able to do this a couple years ago. You call me to say something in, in front of a group of people, I'm stumbling, I'm fumbling, I'm nervous, I can't pronounce nothing, and I feel stupid. But I had to pray to God and ask God to give me the spirit of boldness. Because there's so many things that I know I can say. I, I, I'm not a, listen, I'm not going to toot my own horn. And I'm not going to act like I'm the best person out here in the world or none of that stuff. Because there's good, better, best. But what I'm saying is, the confidence that I have now in speaking, I didn't have that confidence before because I didn't believe in myself. And I'm, I'm my biggest critique. So even if I say something and it's making sense, in my head, I'm saying to myself, oh my God, they think I'm stupid. I'm not making any sense. Or, oh, they're going to laugh at my accent. Or, oh, I'm going to say something wrong. I was so, I'm still to this day very critical and pessimistic sometimes, okay? But I'm working on that. Where was I? So yes, pain in your purpose. I already addressed that. Don't think about any time as loss. Remember the bad as well as the good, okay? Do not magnify the bad. Try to magnify the good in every situation and see God in it because he's there, okay? Reconnect with who you are inside, okay? Do not allow anything around you. At the end of the day, you have to be real with yourself and you got to be real with God. But God knows you. Inside and out. You can fake the fun for everybody else, but he knows you. And if you, if you think you're holding something back, he already know. So reconnect with yourself, your true self, and be that. Um, let yourself feel. Okay? Go through the emotions of life. The happy times, the bad times, the hurt, the pain. The rejection, the failure, the defeat, the yes, the no. Go through all the emotions. Allow yourself to feel. There's nothing wrong. There's no weakness in feeling, guys. Feeling is knowing and associating what you feel with what's going on inside of you. Okay? If you don't connect with it and keep pushing it under the rug, it's going to keep resurfacing. So connect with what you're feeling and remember... That no, nothing is wrong with you. You're not crazy. <laughs> 
And you know what's funny? I told somebody the other day, I said, oh, all this stuff that's going on, I feel like I'm cursed and I, I had to catch myself. I'm like, why am I speaking this over my life? Again, the pessimistic side. And I, you know it happened to you too. You have that pessimistic side that comes out every now and again. So I'm talking about mine. You know, I'm, you gotta be bold sometimes and call things what it is. So yeah, I had to catch myself with that and remember that, you know, there's good and bad in everything. There's good and bad in everything, guys, okay? That's all the notes that I had for this thing and I felt like I had to come up and say it to you. But the, the moral of the story is nothing is wrong with you, okay? God is protecting you and he's molding you to be who he called you to be, okay? So all you got to do, again, again, let me go back. Stop trying to recycle what God is trying to replace, okay? Learn to let things go. Learn to let people go, okay? The season is over. Connect with the greater in you, guys, okay? See the revelation in every situation. See the message in every situation. Never forget, never forget the lesson, okay? Never forget the lesson. You can try to forget the past, which is great, release the past and let it go, but never forget the lesson, okay? Take the lesson and move forward because it only makes you wiser. Wisdom is not something that is just acquired in one day. It comes with experience, it comes with challenges, and it comes with all the good and the bad, okay? That's what makes us wise in life. Okay, so I'm gonna go now. Thanks for watching my video. I hope something that I said reached you and it makes sense. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you want to connect with me again, I'm on Instagram. My name is Predestined4, P-R-E-D-E-S-T-I-N-E-D, -E -E number four. My same exact name as my channel, guys. Thanks so much for the subscriptions. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the likes. Please hit the thumbs up button. Please hit me and shoot me a comment. And thanks again for watching. You be blessed. Have a great week when it comes. And I love you guys dearly. Talk to y'all soon. Mwah.